Hi guys, so I wanted to share this because I think a lot of the times we feel like we have control over everything. Um, and rather than handing it over to the father, you know, we'll be like, okay, I'm doing this next year or I'm doing this, you know, 10 years down the line or I want this to happen when I'm 60. And the truth of the matter is, you know, God willing, those things will happen, that he will give you the desires of your heart. Um, so this whole thing about dreams and chasing dreams, this is just a ploy from the devil. I was in a house where there was literally like 20 people staying there in New Zealand because that's what they do down there. And literally these demons were speaking out of people and they were talking about I was dreaming. And what I got from it after becoming a Christian was there is the reality of things and then there is dreaming. And dreams obviously can represent multiple things. Like sometimes the father will give you dreams and they will end up happening in reality. But the dreaming that these demons were talking about was having all these built up ideals in your head of certain things. And then, you know, as they say, oh, chase your dreams, chase your dreams. That is the state that the enemy wants people in. Because a lot of the times people aren't going to attain their dreams or they're going to do whatever they can do to attain their dreams, even going to the point of hurting other people. Um, and so instead of being in reality, which the reality is we live in a matrix in a spiritual world in which there is a real enemy that is trying to take everybody out like he hates you type deal and he will give you dreams like my dream was to be in uh, New York uh, as a big fashion designer but the truth of the matter is if you want to be in New York as a big fashion designer you're going to have to make a deal with the devil like period point blank there's no way around it type deal unless the father's like hey do this for my kingdom but the father doesn't even want us to worry about clothing all like that so I really doubt he would ever do that um, he might have you in that industry for a bit of time just to be a witness, but, you know, to become like a huge fashion designer in New York, um, like Givenchy or whatever, Chanel, you're definitely going to have to make a deal with the devil. All those people are owned by the devil. They are there to keep women, especially in the mindset that appearance matters to that extent, in a, in a vain mindset. And so all they do is look at their appearance, like a narcissist, and they look at other people's appearance, like it's really degrading to themselves and as well to other people. And so, you know, the reality, again, of the situation is we're in a spiritual war. Time is very short, especially for the U.S. Um, you know, people are making their retirement plans at 35. You know, I'm going to retire in 30 years, but I don't even think America is going to exist in 30 years. I don't even think it's going to exist in like 10 years. Like that's how close to the end of America we are. And so there's just really no reason to even be making plans. The only thing that's important is actually having a relationship with God. And that's it. That is it. Uh, finito. So anyway, you know, when people are so focused on their dreams, they can't focus on their spirit, you know, and um, that's basically why the devil wants to keep you in that mindset, because we are spiritual beings. And the only way that we even have life is through the father himself. He is spirit. And so his spirit fills us with the spirit so that we are, you know, humans with souls, animated beings. That's the reality of the situation. People are under so much programming. Even myself, I was under what I think was called sex kidding programming where, you know, I just wanted to be an attractive woman to men like that. Like I was supposed to be Ken's Barbie type deal. And um, the father had shown me real quickly that that's not really going to work in the long run <laughs> because you're only going to attract men that are going to want you for that. And, you know, it just creates a broken homes in the long run. Uh, you know, you end up getting with a guy that doesn't want you. You might have kids by him and then, you know, your kids end up messed up because they don't really have a dad and that kind of thing. And so, you know, the father wanted to get me out of that really quickly. Um, and this is why he says things like don't have sex before marriage. Make sure it's the right person before you marry them. Um, and if you're in the Lord, he doesn't want you to be unequally yoked with non-believers because they will likely send you down that path again. So the reality of the situation is that women weren't called to be sex kittens. They were called to be pure and holy before the Lord and men as well and they're called to be in relationship with one another through marriage that's the reality what the dream is oh i'm gonna go out and i'm gonna sleep with all these women and you know i have a threesome and you know, from the woman and is well i want a guy that looks like brad pitt and you know maybe you find a guy that looks like brad pitt but he acts like <laughs> and um you know but you don't care because he's just attractive and you're like well maybe if i sleep with him and you know you end up with all sorts of problems after that and you know, there's some women that I've met, they're like, oh, well, I feel like God told me to sleep with this person because that's how I show my love. And I'm like, no, he didn't read the Bible. But, you know, you never get anything out of it. So the reality is marriage, sex comes with marriage, children come with marriage. And that's how to have a strong foundation in this world. And if we end up following that example, you know, people won't have so many problems if they keep their eyes focused on the most high. That's the reason why this world is so broken, because everybody's going their way. Everyone has made themselves into God um, and are denying God. 
And especially in this day, you know, it says it will get more evil in the last days. And it certainly has. Like, I just went to the Knoxville Museum of Art. And they had this, like, two rooms full of um, high school art. Uh, and some of them were absolutely amazing. Like, you would think adults did this type deal. Just phenomenal. But the amount of darkness that I saw in this art, I was like, this isn't normal. Like, what are these kids seeing from day to day? that encourages them to want to paint this or draw this or make this into a sculpture like you know there's a couple witches in there a couple demons a couple aliens a couple dragons you know and i'm thinking well you know my niece really loved anime and she loved this like vampire anime and then other people love harry potter now these things are not harmless like the world will lead you to believe this is really witchcraft and the reality of the situation is it's really evil and it's really introduced by the devil to break down people and to break down families and so you know since people don't know that they think it's harmless i thought it was harmless you know they continue to let their kids look at that kind of stuff um and of course their kids take that with them into adulthood nobody telling them any different and even churches condoning it if they go to church um and they end up you know teaching their kids that so the whole cycle continues you know and i think the reason why people love that much that kind of stuff is because they want identity they want to feel special in some kind of way. People are people towards them. I'm sure high school is very difficult. I had some issues in high school, but I don't feel like I had the issues that a lot of other high schoolers had. Like, I was cool. I just didn't interact with nobody like that. I was very shy. And so I think because of that, I didn't pick up a lot of dark stuff. Um, but, you know, a lot of kids end up picking up dark things. And so we have to keep that in mind. You know, let's take care of our kids and take care of the, the young people around us so they don't end up falling into the dream rather than understanding the reality of things. So anyway, God bless you guys.